if you run a campaign and you're measuring it, is there is there a way for you to track to see what's working, what's not? So even if you ran a campaign today on Facebook, Facebook cost, uh, Facebook, Instagram, a fraction of the cost on Google. So pay-per-click. So we could take real estate. Uh, real estate in Florida, let's say realtor near me in Florida is about $18 cost per click on Google and Bing. On Facebook, it's like a dollar. So I'll try Facebook. If I haven't done either, I'm going to try Facebook because they're the, the lowest cost for you to test. So I'll do a nice campaign, call to action, probably a video, not static image, send someone to my landing page. Fantastic. And let's say my budget is $1,000. So I'm going to generate a thousand clicks. I'm going to make sure I can track it. And after that thousand clicks, month after month, what I want to know is, is it generating leads? So I got to make sure I have call tracking, a number that is specific to that. I got to make sure I have analytics on my website. And, and yes, you can track that. And if at the end of your test, three months, six months, you could say, hey, look, for six grand, six grand on Facebook, as opposed to Google, it would have been like 50 grand, right? For six grand, I've generated 10 leads. And of the 10 leads, I closed one deal. Does that make sense for you? If you closed one lead, the cost per acquisition is going to be six grand. Well, it, it could be if you're a realtor. Uh, maybe not an insurance agent because that policy might only, you know, gross you 500 bucks. So again, it comes back to the numbers, but you have to, you can't be doing, you know, promoting your brand on social media, spending time creating content just for the sake of saying, we're here.